Hi everyone, it's Laura Volpes and today I'm going to share with you the first card that I made as a guest designer for Incon 3. I will be guesting for Incon 3 throughout the month of June and because I am trying their atelier inks for the first time, I thought it would be fun to feature a different technique that can be used with these inks throughout the month and today we're going to start with ink blending. Atelier inks are artist grade fusion inks that can be used for a number of different techniques including water coloring, stamping and as I said today we will be focusing on ink blending. And to create my card today I used the Fox and Bunny Hugs by Ink on Tree as well as the Flora Stencil also by Ink on Tree which is absolutely gorgeous. To add a little bit of shimmer to my project, I decided to also use Liquid Pixie Dust, also by Ink on 3, and this is pure shimmer, you will see it later on. And now let's get started with the tutorial. I started with some watercolor cardstock that I die cut to 5 by 3 and 3 quarter inches, and I am going to start by doing some ink blending through the Flora Stencil. I am securing the stencil to my cardstock using my MakeArt Station. This is a metallic surface with magnets that helps you keep your stencils in place. And then I'm going to start ink blending with my domed ink blender foams. The thing that really surprised me about these inks is that not only they blend like butter, but the moment you start layering them, they really build a lot of intensity. The way in which I was blending this beasting yellow atelier ink on my flower was to concentrate the pigments towards the center and then blend outwards towards the tip of the petals to create a little bit of a gradient. The thing I noticed and that I think would be very cool also if you do layered stamping is that the more layers I was adding to my yellow, the more it turned almost into an orange. You cannot see it very well on camera, I'm not sure why, but the colors aren't picked up very realistically here on video and in the pictures, but there is a big difference between the first layer and you know the third or fourth layer of color that I added to the center of those flowers. I then decided to add a little bit of shimmer with my liquid pixie dust that I picked up with a paintbrush to create some little flicks and here I was trying to show you how shimmery it is when it catches the light. For the background of my card I have here some watercolor cardstock that I die cut to 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches and I'm going to blend peacock blue ink all around the edges. I wanted to really emphasize here how at this point when I'm going in with a light hand I have this soft and nice blue but I can also start adding more pigment and more layers and I can really get this blue to be nice and deep and to almost change tone a little bit towards purple. The change is subtle so it's not like an entirely different color but I think this would be a cool property to take advantage of for layered stamping. Also these colors stay nice and vibrant and I really love that. And coming back to the card I decided to add a little bit more shimmer here too, adding a little bit more of that liquid pixie dust that I think I'll be using a lot in future projects and videos. At this point my backgrounds were ready and I moved on and started working on my images. I used this adorable stamp set by Incon 3, it's called Fox and Bunny Hugs and I stamped it with blackout ink on Nina Solar White 110 pounds cardstock because I'm going to color the images with alcohol markers today. Blackout ink is also by Ink on 3 and it's a hybrid ink which means you can use it with alcohol markers as well as with water based media and I'm going to definitely test it for water coloring in another of the videos or the projects that I will do in this little series where I'm guesting on the Ink on 3 blog. I'm going to skim through the coloring a little bit faster and actually I have to apologize because the coloring for the bunny did not get recorded. However, I'm doing some very easy coloring today using four markers per shade rather than three as most of the times. And I will have a list of all the markers that I used in the blog post that you will find linked in the description box down below. All I'm doing is I am starting with my darkest marker and I'm laying it down in the areas where I think the shadows would be. 
In this case I am coloring as if the light was coming from the top right of the screen, which means I have my shadows on the left and lower portions of the images and I will also have some cast shadows, for example where the heads of the fox and the bunnies meet, as well as under the arms of the fox where he is hugging the bunny. I used some burnt oranges and browns to color in the fox and some warm greys for the bunny and then once the coloring was over I fussy cut the images using my EK Success Cutter B scissors. For my sentiment I chose one of the greetings in the fox and bunny hugs stamp set and I stamped it directly on my foco panel using blackout ink by ink on 3. I decided to use one layer of foam tape to raise the focal panel over my background to create a little bit of additional interest on this rather clean and simple card. You can also see how much spark code that pixie dust created on the background. And then I adhered the images, overlapping them with those stenciled florals, and I finished off the card adding a few crystals. And here is the final result. The card is really simple but I think it's absolutely adorable and I had a lot of fun creating with the Atelier Inks by Ink on 3. Stay tuned for more projects featuring different techniques with these inks and more products by Ink on 3 throughout the month of June. As always, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have tried these inks or if you'd be curious to try them out. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel for more card making and paper crafting inspiration. As always, thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.